Hey guys, Wanderbot here, and things got a little bit messed up. Uh, we have to rotate Shell's microphone around if she's going to be doing like solo commentary and stuff like that. And it turns out that her microphone was backwards for this entire recording. So she's still audible, and I've balanced it, and this is the best I could do. Unfortunately, this game does not let you reload anything, which super sucks, and why I've always been kind of stressed about this game. Uh, but so we're going to sound a little bit weird for this episode and no other episodes. Which is good, so uh, I, I'm sorry, and I uh, hope you enjoy anyway. Aha! Uh, so somebody was telling us to click on something, and people originally said the bag, but it turns out it's that bell. Uh huh. Uh, so if you just click spam annoyed. on the bell, Ruki gets pissed at you. Oh, you just keep on ringing that bell, Jump, Keep at it. Uh, Ruki seems to be taking issue with your frivolous use of the nautical bell. After all, there is no sign of a nautical emergency, nor a prepared meal. Oh, I know it's not meal time. It's fine. I'm starting to really enjoy the constant ringing sound, though. Now that it uh, now that it doesn't mean anything to me or anyone anymore. Besides ringing a bell, it's probably some pretty good exercise, right? And it's good training for my ears too. You know, we curs have extra sensitive hearing, don't you? Well, not anymore. I don't. Anyway, thanks. I mean that. He storms, he storms off. off. <laughs> Ruki shall, shall never, never forgive you for abusing the nautical bell. <laughs> then so, so be, be it. it. <laughs> Though he reappears laughing heartily. Okay. He was only joking. Probably. Well, That's hilarious. I'm tempted to click on it some more, no. but I'm afraid of the consequences. Alright, search for valuables. You and Jadariel spend much of the rest of the day searching through the steady currents of the ragged rock. Ooh, it's blowing. Ragged yep. rock. Until at last you find something of value. So the north current towards the stone wall passes by old carcasses of ships long gone. Holds the downside record for the most shipwrecks caused. <laughs> <laughs> so it would seem, at least, as neither you nor Dario can tell exactly what it is, for the object lies beyond your grasp. You consider methods to retrieve it. Work with Jadario to retrieve the object you found? Make time to retrieve the item. In doing so, you will give up on time you can spend on vocations or studying or mentoring. Oh. Let's go for it. Okay. It must be something important if it's going to be taking up that. Yep. After toiling away together for some time, at last you find the object that you sought within your grasp. You and Jadario take a moment to examine it. You found sedimentary stones. Uh, uh, okay. Something for your trouble? Yep. Just sedimentary stones? Can be sold at the slug market for 73. I mean, that's not bad, actually. Okay. Alright, well, let's continue our journey. Now, it looks like you can't go to the other two locations. Nope. You have to go immediately to the right. Yeah. Well, otherwise you could, like, over-farm or something. I'm not entirely sure. Alright. Are you ready for a battle? I guess so. Oh, there is slug market. Yeah, well, oh, we've got a pages. whole bunch of things. Hey guys, come on in! Say now, whatever happened to that smiley headwind guy? Did he really get out of here like I've been hearing, or what? Alright, so he's actually got some new stuff. Ooh, what's it? Ooh. So that unlearns masteries. No, I was looking at that twilight chart. Uh, but it's flinging the orb. Yeah, which I don't... I should probably maybe do, but... So, does that one also restore your pyre? The green one. This one? Uh, once per right, if the bear's pyre is extinguished, it is instead restored by plus five. I see. So it's a passive thing. You don't actually have to do anything in particular for it. Yep. Also, you can sell the sedimentary rock. Okay, I wanted to see this. So that would increase... Oh, by another 10%. Yeah, so you could actually get it all the way up to... Um, you could get up to 100%. Do you like using Tizo's flutter and zip abilities? Is that, like, his main... Um... Yes and no. So... I thought that... On one hand, I really like the abilities. On the other hand, it says flutter and zip abilities cost less stamina than usual, minus 35%. And that's at level 7, so it's a, a 1 to 5% ratio. So if I got that up to level 20... Fluttering and Zip would be free. Mm -hmm. He could actually fly forever. Which would be pretty cool. <sighs> well, what were the other 
abilities, though. These? Uh, after blocking then everyone's stun. enemies. Yeah. Head Headwind is <laughs> yeah. gone. Jadariel casts her aura farther and faster than usual by 15%. That's for flinging it. Yeah, so like, that would kind of work too. After being banished by an adversary, Barry has a chance to come back immediately. So that would just make sure that you get more people. Yeah, back. can fling the orb faster, which actually is kind of helpful. And after Ruki casts his aura, it lingers for a lot longer. And I could get it to more or less be not super perpetual, but like. That's a... So does that mean he, like, sends a trail out from his body, but then it stays around longer so people run into it? Yeah. Then... Yeah, so I can put on, like, barriers and stuff, which would actually be useful, too. Must be our lucky day here. Or I don't know what, Dad. All right, well, we got some things in the wagon. Sir Gilman. Oh, he has a fire in his eyes. Sir Gilman is fuming in anger over something, so much so that you are hesitant to approach him. But you approach him anyway. Exile is too late of a sentence for this night! He, he notices you then, and seizes up. He begins acting rather nonchalant, as though his outburst did not just transpire. Oh, greetings to you, noble master reader. What brings you to this night this afternoon? Sir Gilman is attempting to make small talk. Let's see if everything's all right. Such a venting of emotion is uncommon, even for the likes of this particular warm night. You maintain a gentle tone with him and ask whether there is something he might wish to discuss. Sir Gilman perhaps could benefit from talking through his woes. He stands there for a time, silent and dejected, but then... I feel like his exile was for something really stupid. It could have been something really stupid. Maybe even just him being too fervent. Yeah, I don't maybe. Know. Master Reader, this knight cannot escape the horrors of his past. It seems that you would hear them. Then you have this knight's apologies ahead of time for burdening you further with his troubles. Having said that, here then are the troubles you requested. You are, of course, familiar with the siege of the Spiral Sanctum. For this night, the memory of it is like a wound which will not close. Huh? So the burned down remains of the old capital of the Commonwealth. Okay, the remains stand as warning to those who would seek to spread forbidden knowledge. Okay. This night stood there at the front lines while the high wing remnants descended upon us. So furious was their assault that our chain of command was ruptured instantly. We of the Sea Dominion, we require orders to perform our duty. Without such orders, why, we surely made a very easy target there that eve. One by one, then two by two, they picked us off, becoming bolder, some of them shrieking with laughter all the while. This night, he saw his comrades cast aside like sea flies. How this night survived, he does not know for certain, even now. Perhaps it was that he attempted to pursue and to detain his own knight commander, whom you met when you first met this night. Oh, did Sir Deluge just yeah, sort of skim back? Yeah, he ran away. That cursed Sir Deluge, if not for his caravan, uh, craven cowardice, the Spiral Sanctum, it might have held at least a while longer. But instead we are routed, rendered spineless both in form and deed. Sir Deluge was the first to turn and flee, as our chain of command crumbled. And so, for, as for this knight, he failed to catch his knight commander. He must have looked... A coward too. Oh, so he thinks that because he tried to catch the commander, it looked yeah. Like he so was it, he looked well. like a deserter. Thus came the time for penance, and this night, why he insisted on the only course of action reasonable, he insisted on sentence to the downside. And as you plainly see, his wish has been fulfilled. How absurd that he should re-encounter his old knight commander here soon, soon after. Thus did this knight become become obliged once more to Sir Deluge. We took to the waters of the Sea of Solace, where soon we met the higher hearts, a triumvirate exclusive to our kind. It was plain to see they lacked wherewithal, and Sir Deluge, they thought he could provide it, the leadership they, th they sought. And his was too much of a coward to decline. As for this knight, being of the Sea Dominion, he had little choice but to comply, or so at first he thought. When this knight, when he encountered you and the Nightwing, something awakened within him. With so little honor left to lose and so much left to gain, it became eminently clear that this knight stood a better chance within your ranks than those of Sir Deluge. And there is little left to say, this knight cannot escape his past, and yet he chooses to believe that he was spared that day. Not merely by coincidence. Perhaps the Under King Oris has yet has plans in store in which this knight may play part. This knight, he clings however vainly to that hope. He slithers away, his head bowed low. 
It seems best to leave him be for now. You sense he feels relieved at having shared all this. Oh, Ooh. we've got a solar shell. A solar shell. Sparkly thing in the center is, in fact, its heart, which it airs out from time to time. A keepsake from the Sea of Solas. Only a monster would attempt to remove the heart, or would have the strength. Oh, so it's like a big clam. Yeah. Oh, so I, I have no sympathies for Sir Deluge. Nope. None. Alright, so we've got something here. The Hulk of Ors, in the words of Loose Glory and Hundred Minds, the scholar. The... Dazraban was the first of many river ships to vanish in the downside. Though, although presumptions of its loss were not inaccurate, the doomed ship and her valiant crew had charted half of the Sea of Solus. At the end of the, their brave voyage, the sea tight and unfathomed Plurns was not fond of vessels sullying her sea, and split the doomed ship with a single swipe. The ship's own shattered prow would later end the sea titan's cruel reign, as the boastful underking loves to recount. The stars themselves may have been moved by this, but that point within the sea, now sacred, has the stars dancing in homage every now and then. Have you already read this one? Yeah. Yeah. The Sisters of the Arch, yeah. Yeah. It was just kind of sparkling, and I wasn't sure if it was new or not, but that just means I can flip the page. All right, well, I guess we've got a uh, trial to do, or right. You didn't want to upgrade anything? We'll see when we get there. You and the others are busying yourselves for the commencement of the rite this evening when you notice Faye behaving strangely. More than usual. Maybe he is here. I mean, I think he has to be. Somewhere nearby? She notices you then. Do you think she's looking for the sun? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, I'm sorry, mister. I was just... I was just... Oh, it's just... I think maybe my friend is here. And I was hoping to say hi to him before we have to do the ceremony with the star ball. Wait, is that... That's him! That's him! My friend is here! He's here! Just then, your adversaries, the Fate, arrive on the other side of the Hulk of Oris. They begin making necessary preparations. Faye rushes over to them before anyone can stop her, even as the stars above start shining through the darkness. Watch her end up on the other team or something. Uh, I don't know. I think she's just gonna bother the kid again and he's gonna brush her off. Hmm. Each of the celestial landmarks where the rites take place has its own distinct layout and properties that may influence the outcome. Reader, ever persevering, aren't we? Well then, rejoice, because the cycle of the rites begins anew. Perhaps you'll liberate another soon enough. Your chosen adversaries here shall be... The Fate. Reduce their flame to ash, just as you did when last you met. Now, who exactly shall oppose them? Oh, hello again, hello! Why, hello indeed, young one. We are the Fates, and once again we hail you and all the Nightwings. Thanks. Um, I was wondering, may I speak to your son? Why, I... I don't see why not. But let me see here. Almer, Almer, where are you? Begging your pardon, young one, but my son, he's not always punctual, you see. Hold. I shall go and fetch him. Oh, okay. I mean, my friend, I... I hope that he remembers me. You, wait. Where's father? Father! Oh, hello, hello again. Your father, he went looking for you. He... Did you not see him? No, I did not see him. This had best not be some Nightwing's trick, or else I'll... Ah, there you are, Alma. Our cordial adversary wishes to salute you, I believe. Oh, that's right. I mean... Here, this is my salute. I am saluting you. It's nice to see you, and... and... May the scribes watch over you, okay? I want them to watch over us as well, but maybe just this time? Or not just this time, but this and other times, maybe? They can watch over all of us, okay? The two of them stand and watch as Faye skips over to rejoin your group. An unusual sort, that one. She is... She is about your age. 
Father! <laughs> I know they're trying to pair them up or something. It's cute. <laughs> okay. I pray that all our training since our last encounter shall not be in vain. You sense Dalbert speaks the truth. The fate are more capable than before. Each time you face a triumvirate, they gain talismans and masteries. Okay, Do not so. underestimate them. Yeah, so talismans, items imbued with various enchantment textiles may equip them one at a time. Talismans' true power lies in the faith of its holder and masteries. Special proficiencies in the rites, bestowed by the eight scribes of the enlightened. Each of the eight scribes develops certain strategies and pass them down to his or her triumvirate. Do not underestimate them. Now, let us begin. Okay, so what do they have now? So well, he has... Oh, interesting. Well, the bear's pyre has less than the adversaries. They deal bonus damage. He's also got... So he's he's fast and gets multiple jumps. Uh, so he really is uh, analog for Fey, because he's got the same paths. So dying flame, dying flame. Oh, so that means that you have to take them out quickly without having them do damage to you in between. Yeah. Potentially. I mean, it's probably not the end of the world. If uh, if we go back to them, you'll notice that their glory is fairly low-ish. But yeah, that'll make it harder for me. So who do you want to send out, and what items do you have? And you have to remember that... What are you looking at? I just wanted to look at a couple of these. Uh, there's like one or two guides, because I feel like there's actually kind of a story that should be told with me losing too. Because we lost Headwind, and we lose a lot of, like, storytelling by losing Headwind. And I wanted to quick, uh, quickly well, see... Well, Headwind didn't really have any ties to the... Yeah, to the site. He, was, he didn't have a whole lot of ties to anybody, which is why I had picked him to go. Because Faye, Faye definitely has... Of course, dude. Um, so, I mean, Faye has ties to this Almer kid. Uh, the Harpy has ties to her sister. Yeah. We're probably going to keep running into Sir Deluge. I'm just, I'm actually not sure if I should start intentionally losing a couple of these for storytelling purposes. I don't know. I mean, or you can do the best you can. Yeah, I Either mean, that's way. what I've been doing this entire time. I mean, because if you lose, it doesn't set you back because you still get to the final right anyway. Yeah, so that's what or... I was curious about. It's like, could I potentially actually lose a bunch and then kind of send everybody up, liberate everybody, or do you hit a point where uh, a bunch of people are stuck in the downside? So are you saying that you would rather play this several times I more over know. to send opponents up? Well, yeah, because, like, Delbert Oldhart and his kid, like, they... I actually... I like, I like them. Yeah, I like them. I sympathize with them. There are some people that I will actively, like... Because I don't like the Bog Witch. I don't like the Bog Witch, I don't like the Sea Worms, and I don't like the, um... I don't like the Tree Dude. Yeah, the Tree Dude. Those are the three that I will probably... Oh, also that one human guy that looks really fishy. Lenel, or... I get the feeling we learn more about them. Because they specifically hate the Nightwings for some reason. And I'd love to see why. And I mean, Ig Ignarius, we obviously know that he has some lover or yeah. something back. I don't know. Alright, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who should I use for this? Probably people with lower... Um... Yeah, let's use Pamitha. Because I haven't used her in ages. It means you won't be able to use Dario though. Because they hate each other. Yep. Alright, we'll have to... Not then. Interesting, the Ruki's already... Oh, I see. Ru Ruki just pops in there. Uh... Do you want to use Faye? I should probably use Sir Gilman, actually. Sir Gilman, to get him up? Uh, realistically, seeing as we're doing liberations, uh, I need to actually start using Sir Gilman a lot here. Because, uh, mm -hmm. honestly, I think he's going to be the next person I liberate. He does have his um, his knight commander, but everybody else kind of has a story, but I also don't want to get rid of Joe Dariel. Right. The thing is, like, Sir Gilman was wrongfully accused. He actually turned himself in. Yeah. And wanted to come here to repay for his quote-unquote crime. When really he didn't commit any. Yep. The other thing I could do is actually work on just buffing the speed on that, but I don't know. So let's go with uh, Sir Gilman. Sir Gilman. Because he had the... He's got the speed boost. Who's the last one? We could do Faye. Faye would level up. 
Wouldn't she? Or yeah, Faye she? would level up. Rookie would not. Alright, let's go Faye. Yeah, I could rank something up, but I don't I don't know, I kinda wanna work on ranking up Hobe's wing. I'll just make the most of what I got, I think. The scribes! I hope they're watching. All of us. Steal yourself, Armor. Are you prepared to face our adversaries once again? Always, Father. Let's prevail, here and now. Let's do so indeed, my son. Alright. Oh. That was a quick dodge. They dodged quickly, too. Wait, do they have their own Dominion? Slug? Or was that the no, dog? That was Dalmer. No? Oh, okay. Oh, you got all of them. Yep. Remember, I'm here for uh, Your money. money farming. Money. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna be aura Did casting. Did you hear the guy? How fun! There we go. This is also good practice for control on, on her. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's faster at aura casting, so I'm a little bit leery about him, but that's okay. Tell me when it says maxed out, because I'm fo very focused on what I'm doing. I mean, you have a plus one there. Poof. Yeah. Plus <laughs> one. Poof. That is funny. Okay, maxed it's maxed out. out. You got your 14 coins. There we go. Yeah, I don't- But I she don't, even unlocked the fallen soldier. Yeah, I don't use her to score very often. Yes. Wow, they they don't even guard the gaps. Oh, that's that's real bad for them. Whoa! Yeah, they don't they don't guard the gaps. The poor AI is just like, what do? What are you doing? You put your mask back on. We're in the middle of a right. Oh, I know. It's just I wanted to say, I think that you're very brave. Is all I think. Because we have encountered many triumphants by now, I mean. We have the dissidents, and the tempers, and... What are you talking about? Get to the point. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't mean I just... My name is Faye. I wanted you to know my name. It's Faye, since I know yours. I see. Then ready yourself, Faye. We shall not hold back. Such a struggle it must be for poor old Dalbert and his wingless son. I'm... well... Oh, that guy missed. Yep. Oh. Swift recovery! Now go! Alright. We're speeding up, and they're striking. I mean, Whoa. they are, but I can control Jadariel now. I just gotta use those dodge as well. Oh. Oh, Sir Gilman. Yep, uh, they get one. Plus All right, six. So when Gilman jumps over gaps, he loses his aura for a moment. Oh, got fizzed out. God damn it. Oh. Yeah. I'm getting messed up a little bit because jumping over gaps. Uh, Not wise with Gilman, apparently. Yeah. Well, oh. no, it, it makes it so Gilman can't do his slash because Gilman can't aura cast and his aura is super tiny. Um, wait, I. I wanted. I'm sorry, I just wanted to apologize, I think. Why, young one, you must not say such things. You are one of the Nightwings, the most envied of all Tramverts. We aspire to your greatness and your legacy. Father, please, no more of this. They have prevailed. We need not grovel at their feet. Um, Elmer, 
Is it Elmer? I just... I had a question. Ask quickly, then go about your business. Oh, I just... Um... Would you be my friend? Huh? What? I was wondering if you would be my friend. Because I don't... Well, I don't have a lot of friends. And you are brave and gentle with your father, so... <laughs> I, sh I shall see you in a little while, my son. What? I... The scribes, were they not friends? I think... I choose to think... They brought us here, to be closer together, not to be apart. Fast now in the wisdom of the scribes. Did she, oh, she did rank up. Utter nonsense, all of this. We have come this far. Oh, that we have come this far. Fortune alone cannot be the cause. All right, so we get, any adversaries banished by Jadari will take 30% longer to, than usual to return. So this more or less means I can just tank. One of the things I want to try with Jadario... Oh, you can go down the sides rather than getting everything in yeah, the center? Yeah, yeah, so... So I can get... It's just one, two, and three, and then I can get whatever I want. I'm tempted to get long stride after this one. Because this is... I mean, this is helpful, because it gives us a nice... Oh, that gives you a buffer. Yeah, for... it's armor, effectively. But I think this seems more reasonable. Yeah, we'll go with this one. Because, yeah, I could potentially uh, cast auras and chuck the ball and just win that way. The eight scribes! They so inspire me, and now I feel that I have grown somehow closer to them. Maybe? Okay, so we have... Power jumps farther than usual. While well, sprinting slows nearby ad adversaries, instantly return to the origin of your jump. Okay. We are going to go down this tree. We got this one because it makes it so there's no charge up time. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go down this way. Everybody else gets their bonus EXP. Oh, yeah. did he? He, he did thank us. So grateful this night uh, is this night for such a glorious occasion that he is giving strong consideration to performing. Here now the forbidden sea dance of uh, for, uh, <laughs> forbidden dance of the sea dominion. The Forbidden Dance of the Sea Dominion? Why is it like a, a sultry snake dance? I have no idea. Okay, so Heroic Stan. While Sir Gilman's allies are banished, he moves faster than usual. And nothing for her. Until the next right. Alright. Yeah, we'll have to start leveling a Pamatha, though. I guess I could give Jadariel's uh, thing to Fay or something, too. You return to the wagon after you and your fellow exiles thwarted the fate and find Volford waiting for you there. Well done back there, my boy. You are serving your companions well. Now then, I have something that I wish to share with you if you have a moment. We've discussed the plan, of which we're all a part. I have a means of measuring our progress towards the goal of it. Plan. Volford's ambitious plot to spark a revolution in the Commonwealth as peacefully as possible. Current probability of success 28% so yeah I'd like for you to have a look at it first let's determine where the rights may take us next look forth I expect you shall again see shining stars where once you saw but one you gaze into the darkness of the night gold the south star Malith Jomer Oh, got four. Sort of. Oh no, only three. Several shining stars. The trick of the eye, or the will of the scribes, who can say? I too once gained this newfound vision many years ago, following my first liberation rite, and I believe only we of the Nightwings have this gift. I realize that in choosing whom the Nightwings confront in each rite, we, in turn, influence which triumvirate we face when the time comes for someone to be set free. The object I invite you to use contains further detail. Okay, so we can use Volford's Planner. Yep. An object that shows the relative standings between the nine triumvirates and the rights. Whichever triumvirate carries the most favor shall confront the Nightwings for a chance of freedom. Ooh. Okay. Using Volford's Planner, you may assess your progress towards your ultimate goal, as well as check the current standings of your adversaries. Ooh. Well, you actually give you little notes on them. 
Wolford shall keep this information up to date for the remainder of your quest. You may look over it now, or any time in the Black Wagon, or while searching the stars. So let's see what we have. So, the cycle of the rites turns faster. The next liberation rite should be sooner than before. Interesting. Total rites conducted. You've liberated one exile, and you have a probability of success. Number of additional exiles required to join the Nightwings and fulfill a key aspect of the plan. You need one more. Yeah. Be interesting. Rights conducted, rights liberated, probability of success. Yeah. And long last, the plan is underway. The cycle of the rights turns quickly for the time. We should have another stab at the fall of Solium, VS. Oh, so there's up arrows, there's down arrows, and there's equal arrows yeah, for so favor. Yeah, so the fate is going down because they lost. Record. Oh, that's because of their record is two to six. Yeah, whereas the, uh, the dissidents are eight and one. So Ooh. we're probably up against... These guys, rather soon. You mean you probably want to face them soon? I'm trying to decide. Because I wouldn't want to lose against them. Well, so that's one of the things I did look up. We can restart rights as many times as we want. Okay. So there's that. Um, the trick is, you can pay... I, I know you can pay off Rookie's debt. I saw somebody say that uh, in a comment. And so that's something that we should look into. Uh, so I'm actually totally fine with fighting the dissidents. How is it that some of them, how, they have unequal numbers? What do you mean? Oh, you mean like, this, like nine those guys, matches? Those guys have done six, those guys have done seven. Those guys, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I... Oh, the, yeah, the chastity are the corrupted opportunists. For selfish gains. No. Yeah, so no matter what, these guys will never win. These guys will never win. I don't know about Barker, and these guys will never win. I don't know about Lendl the Liar. Wait, but their righteous traditions have given way to ruthlessness and spite. Yeah, so chances are I will never let the accusers win. But, like, I could I could see letting Ignarius win. Maybe. She maybe there. We need to more, know we more. Need, of that we need we need to we need to have her reconcile with Pamitha first. Yeah, and for Dalbert Oldheart, I don't want to split up Faye and Almer. Not quite yet. Yeah, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, so I feel like we could probably per, uh, we could probably pursue uh, Barker Ashpaws as our next opponent. It actually almost looks like. Uh, we're locked in no matter what on this one that uh, Barker Ashpaws is the next villain we come across because he's got an 8 and 1 chances are we're not going to be able to get uh, drive that win-loss ratio down that much I guess he's only at a standing uh, a favor of 37 so the withdrawn could catch up now why did the tempers favor go down to like nil because they lost the last liberation they lost right. The right yeah so they're reset to the very beginning so we won't fight the tempers for quite some time. All right. So who who can we go up against? So we can go up against Malith, the dissidents, or these guys. Well, I want to crush Sir Deluge. Yeah. I I would like to face Barker, but I think he should lose again because he has such high stats. Or well, do you want to face him in the final race? If I go up against uh, Barker right now, that'll push him down on the standing, and then we'll be up against the Bog Witches. I'm not against that, though. That buys us some time. Yeah. So, and I mean, and then fighting the Harps would give us another opportunity for the sisters to see each other again. Okay, so let's go after Barker. Well, All I know is that I don't want... Sir Deleuze to ever go free. Yeah. Yeah, we don't... I don't think I want to touch this one yet. Yet. Well, that's interesting. Hmm? Yeah, no, I think I'll leave Tamitha. I thought that was the Bog Witches. So, if we... Well, remember, they switched locations. Yeah, so if we're up against uh, Barker, it'll... If, if we go up against the Dissidents, that'll probably let the Withdrawn win and move up in the rankings. Uh, which means... We'll cream them in the rights. We'll Maybe. Either, yeah, the one fear is uh, Other people the are essence gonna... could pull ahead. Oh. So 
So I suppose we should face Barker or the... Um, I mean, should... actually, no. Let's go after these guys. Okay, Maybe? why is that? Because <sighs> if we face them and cream them in the final right, then well, he's going to be put back to zero. Part of my thoughts are, if we face Barker and we can pay off Rookie's debt... Um, we need to ensure that he stays in the downside, though. Who, Barker? Well, yeah, so if we face him and... Uh, if we face him for the liberation right, so we don't we don't oppose the dissidents here. Um, we liberate Rookie after finishing his plot line. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, then Rookie is gone. Part of it is, like, I'm trying to think of the characters that still have story. I'm thinking we'll, we should he go... He doesn't really have much of a story because... Well, I wanted to try going after Sir Deluge now, because we can put um, Gilman up against him. They'll have whatever, you know, dialogue with each other, which will probably leave it semi-satisfactorily. And then we can have Gilman go free whenever we feel like. You know? True. Yeah, so let, let's go after this guy. Because uh, if we end up going against uh, somebody where we can freely liberate someone without any qualms, then we're in a good spot. Okay. I don't know. Is this night to understand that we shall soon confront Sir Deluge and the Pyrehearts once more? Then this is a most exciting time! This night's one-time commanding officer, imagine, if you will, a worm without the slightest trace of bravery! Sir Gilman then recants his tale of Sir Deluge's past and how it is that they wound up together in the downside. Sir Deluge, a worm knight of the Sea Dominion and former ally of Sir Gilman, he lacks the sort of courage for which his own his kind is known, yet somehow leads the pyre hearts anyway. Some worms born under the Sea Dominion's water sought life's meaning on dry land. The Commonwealth recognized their chivalrous traditions and soon put them to use. Sir Deleuze was just another bit of frontline fodder in the war against the High Wing Remnants. Yet, time and again, he distinguished himself for one simple reason. He would not die. His unusual instinct for self-preservation kept him safe in many battles, and over time, he was repeatedly promoted for lack of any real competition. Then, in the Battle of the Spiral Sanctum, when retreat certainly was not an option, Sir Deleuze retreated anyway. This was a breaking point, and he at last was sentenced into exile. In the downside, he sought water, where he made contact with Sir Gilman and other members of his kind. They all saluted him as their superior. The other knights had little choice but to respect his rank. As the Pyrehearts, they conduct the rites in the name of their great hero, the Underking Oris, while adhering to their strict code. This knight may not have failed quite so miserably at the Battle of the Spiral Sanctum had his entire reg re red, uh, regiment not turned in disarray after Sa Sir Deluge fled. Perhaps by confronting his former commander, this knight's own honor may be regained in part. For now, however, this knight must beg your leave. You say goodnight to Sir Gilman in turn. There is no time to make flight preparations now, though in the morning you will press on once again. Well, it looks like you're getting your wish. They... He might be able to wrap things up. Yep. Oh, also, Wolfred's planner. Wolfred's planner. Also, Faye seems pretty happy. Yeah. I was just going to click on that to get this out of here. we got something in the common room, but let's talk to Faye. Yeah, Faye seems to have something on her mind. Hmm. Faye seems very happy about something and has been chanting softly to herself. On closer inspection, however, she seems to be engaged in conversation with the wagon wall. And so, after the right, he said to me... I th he said to me, farewell. Can you believe it, little brother? He said that. And then he left to go find Mr. Dalbert, who went on ahead. And so, I think maybe we are friends now. Do you think so, too? We have a lot in common, don't we? Friends are supposed to have a lot in common, right? For instance, um, we're both fighting for those we care about? For those who helped us when we needed it. Is that not so? He is very lucky to have met Mr. Dalbert, isn't he? She falls silent for a time, and then... It cannot be that the eight scribes intended that all of us just have to fight each other all the time. It just cannot be. So many whom we face, they... don't like us very much, do they? Because... if we prevail against them... 
it must mean that they cannot go home, even if they really want to. So that's why they don't like us. Back home, when they told me to stop being me, I, I didn't like them either. You want to know what I think, little brother? I think the scribes put us together in all this so that we can learn from one another and grow closer together as friends. That is what I think, little brother. And I told them so. And maybe the next time I see Elmer and Mr. Dalbert again, they will be happier to see me then. She bounds off, noticing you as she goes. Ah, Hi, mister. You said some burden has been lifted from her. And her knowledge of the rites, however informal as it may be, has crystallized into a deeper understanding. Faye gained one hope permanently! Yay! Okay, so... What's in the common room? Oh! Sir Gilman's biography has gone up. Years exiled three. His alleged motive... Not <laughs> His crime, none. His <laughs> motive, not applicable. Years exiled three... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a Scorpus astral sign. Yep. He was born on the 3rd of 11th moon, suggesting he is driven and fixated. One's astral sign often foretells one's disposition, swings in the idiosyncrasies. Okay, so yeah, we already we already know this, so that's nothing particularly Will major. Will he be enlightened enough to, like, Go? Leave? No, I'm going to have to start using him in a lot of battles for this. Oh, the but fate. But that's okay. In the words of Haub, the swallow, the, the accursed. The fate united under many men, the alpha chief, his brash... Uh, he is brash, but he follows his traditions. He prizes faith, discipline, and honor. Qualities he seems to lack at first. He formed the fate under the precepts of the olden bylaws of his four-legged ancestors. They believed in a certain natural order of the way of things. Many men wanted for the fate to likewise show respect. Initially, he only chose from other curs. He, however, urged the fate to replenish their numbers from any race or ethnic, ethnic group, thus willing. Thus, they shall... Thus shall they anticipate what is to come with open mi eyes and minds, and never frown up upon what is in store for them. Yeah, that seems appropriate. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, that's a this is a great stopping point before we go on to the next set of things. Hey, the stone came back. Whoops. Oh, oh. the lone minstrel's white loot. Right, we can listen to music yeah. if we want to. Downriver. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is a great stopping point. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of Fire. And as always, thanks for watching.